You've probably been to a Disney park at some point, or seen one on TV, or at least know someone who has. Happy memories are shared, and future stories are taking place, but mixed in with all of that, there is a secret throughout Disney that changes the way you see things. Before I explain, take a look at this photo. If I asked you how tall this purple castle is, how tall would you think it is? A few hundred feet? Ten stories? Well, it's actually closer to around 10 to 15 feet tall. Did it deceive you? If it did, you're part of the majority. And that's supposed to be that way. Disney uses a way of building that changes how you perceive the buildings you see and makes it look different if perhaps you saw it with a person standing by it. As you can see here, now that this construction worker is seen right by the castle, it seems to sink down and be much smaller, but since you normally see it in the distance, you can't tell if it's big or small. Let's look at another example. Here you can see a replica of the Eiffel Tower in Epcot. I'll give you 5 seconds to guess how tall that is. Seventy-six feet. This replica is only 76 feet tall, but looks shockingly similar to the real Eiffel Tower in Paris. But there is a 1,000 foot difference between them. But you'd never know since it is made to look like it is a full scale model which is in the distance. With over 150 million guests annually, Disney parks worldwide share a common secret. Within the walls of the various parks, there isn't much space, so Disney resorts to tricking your eyes and deceiving your brain with clever buildings. Ever since the beginning, Walt Disney wanted guests to experience a fantasy, but he also knew that building would be costly and space consuming, which were both resources that Disney was quickly losing in building Disneyland. This brought a way of building that still lasts in Disney parks and is placed all around the world. It's actually simple, but it is very powerful. When Disney and other companies are building, they make the building get smaller when it gets higher, like on Cinderella Castle, the windows get smaller as you go up, or even certain aspects get larger, like the window in America Pavilion in Epcot, which makes it look like it is two stories, when it is really five. The goal is to make their royal castles enormous, just like in the movies. But of course, that costs money and takes up space, so they use a building technique called Force Perspective. Disney didn't create Force Perspective, but they used it to their advantage. So what is Force Perspective? To understand, first we have to break down how we see things. The size of an object is based on the angle we see it through. When the angle is small, the object is further away, as shown on this model but when it moves closer, it gets larger. When force perspective is used, it forces the perspective to make the angle small by making the object small and far away, rather than having you be far away. This gives the effect of the building being large, but it is not when we look at it through a different angle. When this is applied to these castles, it makes them look like they are hundreds of feet tall, when in reality they are nowhere near that. There are many ways Force Perspective is carried out. For one, Force Perspective is clearly seen on the Disney castles all around the world in their parks. As you move up the floors, you may notice that the windows get smaller and smaller like I mentioned on the castle and also on the buildings on Main Street USA. This is meant to simulate the windows being far away, which would obviously make them smaller to you, but it forces you to think that the windows are even further away, giving you the picture of an enormous building that stands hundreds of feet into the air. Another way is used where a five-story building looks like it is two stories by making the windows larger to make them look closer to you. Force Perspective changed the game and is still used today throughout the world in all types of areas. Now it's just for you to find. 